Hello and welcome back to another video. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. And today we are back again to Alton Towers, but this time to experience their Mardi Gras event. So come with us for the day. We'll get on all the rides that we can and we'll show you around. can already tell today is a much better day in terms of weather the sun is out for the first time uh, in a theme park for us this year yeah sun's out shorts out john's good. loving it that being said first impressions of mardi gras there is a massive difference between the mardi gras event and the um the smiler takeover festival of thrills event yeah they've got like streamers everywhere They've got streamers everywhere, they've got stages set up everywhere, they've got themed music at the entrance. But we'll see how it progresses throughout the day. I mean, we are in the park quite early, it's not even 10 o'clock yet and they've let people in, which is always good. I hate it when theme parks only let you in the moment the park opens. You know, you should be able to roam and, and queue up for a ride before it opens. That said though, I am really enjoying the extra theme and the music that they do have everywhere for this Mardi Gras event. Exciting, come with us. Axel. Well, no Smile. Are you smiling? Uh, I've done it now. Go on the guitar. No, because I smiled and that's me done. I did it. You're taking a video, aren't you? Go on. <laughs> We're gonna rock you, Alton Towers. Yay! Thank you. Have a good night. You like the drill? We're going straight to the curse. It's gonna be open first. We're gonna ride it about ten times, and then we're gonna probably move on to Wicker Man. But we've been coming to this park a lot recently, so the next time we come to this park and we do a vlog. We're going to do some, some sort of challenge. So if you could come up with something to suggest, that'd be great. But we're thinking of, we're going to see how many times we can ride Wicker Man in a row, or see how many flat rides we can get on in a day, or see if we can ride every single roller coaster on a day, or something along those lines. So if you have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. And now we wait, make our way up towards the manor. This is probably one of the best pathways towards a house I've ever seen. Some great statues and a winding pathway that takes you all the way towards these gates of Alton Manor. What a fantastic run through that we had. Everything was working on time. Um, absolutely loved it. And do you know what? It's great sitting on that ride with people that have never done it before. Because we've done it so much now. We, we know what to expect. And we're really looking for things that we've not seen before. But we had two people on there with us that have never been on it before. Um, and they were fully grown adults as well. And it's really good to get people's reactions that haven't been on it before. Because when you become so used to it, desensitized to the scares and what's coming next, 
it kind of takes away that element of surprise. Yeah. Um, but to hear other people experiencing it for the first time, it just brings back how good, uh, immersive and effective that ride is. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's one of my favourite dark rides. It's really fun. But yeah, it's been been a good good start to the day. We've done that a couple of times, and now we're going to go to get a real ride in. <laughs> what I would like to mention, though, very quickly, is merch for Curse of Alton Manor. I don't think I've mentioned it before. I'm a massive theme park pin badge collector. I like to collect pin badges for some everywhere I've been, to be honest, just as a momentum, and especially if it is a very momentous occasion, like a holiday or a new ride opening or something. But the Curse of Alton Manor. The merch in there is very rubbish rubbish and generic to be honest like you'll just get a, a plain cup with a, a logo on it and that has been there for over a month now and i mean i've just been in the shop and i've seen that they've got a new cup there which is like you know when you heat heat reactive so when you put the water in hot water um it'll like show the writing on the wall as it does in the pre-show cool. which is great and it's got a, a good shape to it so it's good to finally see that they're getting some merch of value in there. But, you know, you've got hoodies and t-shirts, which is very plain. It's just a plain hoodie, a plain t-shirt with the logo on it. You've got a notebook, you've got a pen, and that is about it. And I mean, for a ride like that, you have so much opportunity to create unique uh, merch that people would buy. But even still, where's the pin badges? It's been open for over a month. I want a cursed pin badge. And there is so much that you could do with that, even if a sales sign, you know, with whatever estates on it, or the logo itself, or anything, you know, the big head of Emily. There is so many things that you could do, and they're just not doing it. Whether that is to yet to come, I'm not being treated to see, but as of now, the merch after a month is still very poor for Cursor Alton Manor. You know what that sound means? X sector join us it's time for the smiler join us Smiler this time, Axel. Absolutely loved it, and to be honest, that was one of my favourite rides on Smiler that I've ever ever had. What? I know it's the same always, like the track can't change or whatever, but to, for some reason, I just enjoyed it more than ever before. It just it felt good, it felt smooth. The we weather had made it better. Front row. Maybe it was because of the weather, I don't know. Every time I've been on it this year, it's either been cold or raining, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I really like my ride on it this, this time. I'm um, enjoying the weather today. It's making everything just that bit more fun because I'm not, I'm not getting hurt by the rain hitting my face. But that does, that does take away from the joy. It's a smile in the rain is painful. Brutal. Yeah. So smile is ten years old this year. Um, it still holds the world record for the most inversions on a roller coaster. Will it ever be beaten? Probably in America right. in like two years. Hopefully, it has thirty. It's been, it's held the record for ten. So I'd like to see someone challenge it. Yep, right. Off we go then. We've not done any of these retro squad flat rides yet. So while it's only five minutes, let's go on spin jam. I can't even sound straight. What did you think about that one, Sean? I like it. The no, spin jam. Like flat rides. They make me sick. Honestly. Oh. I'll tell you what, I think they're a great little addition to this park. I mean, I'm not too keen on fun rides being in a theme park. But it's a great little, little, little addition. Uh, it gets pretty fast, I'll tell you that when it speeds up. And Sean was screaming, bloody hell, feel like an astronaut. <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck. He's just like you for astronaut training, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Welcome to the unknown. Welcome to Oblivion. With only a 10 minute queue. Fantastic. It's always great. I mean, it's the only ride in this park that brings me genuine fear. When I'm at the top of that ride, I know what to expect, but I still fear it for my life, and I don't know why it is. I think it's just something about vertical rides, whether it be a drop tower, whether it be a lift hill that goes up vertically, or a ride that drops vertically down. It just scares the life out of me, and it still is genuine fear. That being said, Oblivion is 25 years old this year. Do you think I'll ever get a refeed or, or a new video package at least? Because I know the video package, it was filmed made 25 years ago, but it's still played. Uh, it's still played it and played it, to be honest. <laughs> oh. I love the theming, I love the wording. And uh, yeah, yeah. it's always good to go on Oblivion. No, yeah, it was good. It was good today. Very good operations, ran very smoothly. Got everyone on and off within like 10 seconds, you know what I mean? Yeah, I love Oblivion. You do have a bit more track, but apart from that, it's what it is, you know what I mean? Hey, that's an idea, an Oblivion expansion. Yeah. We are now entering the territory of the Bjarnan. It's time for Wicker Man. Let's feed the flames. Man needs a sacrifice, Sean, and that sacrifice is you. Well, we survived that one, didn't we? Yeah, we survived by the skin of our teeth. I know. Very fast, they fell over very quickly, didn't they? We did, yeah. We had a middle um, row ride, so it was towards the middle of the train, and yeah, it was all right today, to be honest. It wasn't. I much preferred the smile today for some reason. I don't know why, why that is, but. We wicker man up tend to prefer it if it's right towards the front or right towards the back. Yeah. Anywhere in the middle it kind of makes it a bit The rain mediocre. makes it run a lot faster as well. Yeah. I prefer the wicker man in the rain. Yeah. But no, Smile right. not so much, but wicker I'm man. I'm loving it today to be honest. It's nice and chill. Like you know, you're spending your time in the light, it's just also wet and miserable. You're not you're not bothered that you're spending quite a long time with the key. True. And one thing that I would like to mention about Wicker Man E, and I never mention it but it always impresses me about the um, smoke machines, they're always turned on, yeah. whether it's on the structure itself or in the drop before you go down that the first drop. Well, yeah, the mist effect is always on and it's always pumping out to full force as well, and the exit of the ride. Um, and so I never praise that, but it is something that is really well done. Well, I covered theme parks where they have that effect for the first few years, uh, and then it tends to not be on anymore. Wicker Man is five years old, and that effect is still running as strong as ever. Absolutely, yeah. It's brilliant.
and so we head towards the only zero g roller coaster in the whole world there is no forces whatsoever have you ever wait. experienced it and that is the only reason that we're going on it because it's a five minute queue if you've seen one of our other vlogs you will know the trauma that we have had queuing for this ride which has really steered us away for it and the fact that it's got no G's or no forces. But no, it's a nice road coaster. It's not bad, right? I mean, it's I've unique. No you lay down, it. whatever. I've got no problem with it if it was if it was a decent queue time. But the queue time makes it so unworth it. It's ridiculous. And it says five minutes, and it looks like it's five minutes to be fair this time. The last time we came, it said it was twenty minutes, and we we're still in the queue for over ninety minutes, and it broke down when we got near the front. It was a joke. All aboard a shuttle to space. Galactica, formerly known as Air. I'm gonna say something that might surprise you. Well, I actually enjoyed your ride on Black. That sounded right. It's good. And it was less than a five minute queue time. We got in there, there was just one bit before we got on the ride, and that was it. So it was just one train to send, and we was on. And when it's. Um, that little amount of queuing for Galactica, I do not mind the ride. But when you're waiting an hour and a half, oh, it's fun. then the ride's not worth it. It's fun. It's, it's, always fun been, it's always been a good ride. I've never had a problem with the ride itself. The problem is with the queue. You know what I mean? And the queue's like that and like that. But like, some, and when you're standing yeah. on that for ages, it, it's doing damage to your ankles. But something I have noticed is that the queue times are actually represented a lot better. On the, 100% uh, I was thinking when that. When they were like yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah. The first time it's within ago. the 10 minute estimation that we yeah, want. Yeah. You know, if it's 10 minutes And if minutes it's less not, it's because of more. a breakdown or something. Exactly. Like with, with Wicker Man, he said half an hour, and he probably would have been, but someone threw up in the ride station. Yeah. So they had to clean it. So well done Alton Towers yeah. for uh, finally getting your, your estimated queue times right. It's not that hard, is it? You, you must know when you look at a queue and you work there every day how long Well, that that's queue. why in certain points in some queues they say 15 minutes from this point or, or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's an average time. But yeah, it's been it's been a really good day so far. I mean, we've not gotten a lot of roller coasters, but since we've been coming more regularly, I'm not as bothered about rushing to get on yeah, yeah. all the coasters because I know we'll get on the ones we want to by the end of the day. And I want to see some of the Mardi Gras stuff now, to be honest. I want to go proper, take a look at some of that, maybe get some food. Are you right. hungry? Let's go. Yeah? All right. We'll show you some of the Mardi Gras stuff. This is Food Street. Let's see what offerings they've got on here. Whoa! Look at this. And now it's time for the Mardi Gras food review. Right, we're here. We've had a nice day on park, but we decided to get something to eat. Now, 
They've got a lot of special offers on at the moment in terms of food. It's all Mardi Gras specials, one of the big staples of Mardi Gras and uh, New Orleans, which is where the Mardi Gras is held, is the food. The gumbo, jambalaya, and what was the other one? Mac and cheese, was it? Mac and cheese with pork pork on it. Lovely jubbly. You get one each of those and you get the Greek combo, which is basically £10 or you can spend £8 each on a slightly bigger dish. So we've opted for the Greek combo so we can try a bit of each and review each afterwards. Now we've got, we're going to show you what we've got so far. So this is the jambalaya. I have put a little bit too much sriracha sauce on there because it came out like an absolute waterfall. That is, so there is the mac and cheese uh, with pulled uh, pork on it and um, a bit of crunchy uh, onions. Onion yum, yum, yum. Oh, that was disgusting. Thank you very much, Lucy. Ooh, chicken gumbo. None of this looks nice. To be honest, it is. Try it. And now Sean's about to take his first bite of the um, jambalaya. It's a bit plain tasting. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. It's meant to be a bit nicer than that. That's the gumbo. Chicken gumbo. This looks like sick in a pot. It smells like peas. Where does this originate? New Orleans, America. Yeah. So at the bottom it is served with a white rice as well. But it's meant to be like a curry dish, I guess. American curry. Oh yeah, that's what it is. It's alright though. Nothing special. I like that more than the jambalaya, it's got more flavour to it. And now the mac and cheese. Yeah. Right, I suppose we've got to have it. It's classic American. I mean it's it has got, got pork on the top. Yeah. The crispy onion. Slightly sick, like. If it wasn't, it, it tastes a bit burnt, to be honest. I don't know what that burnt flavour is. Without the pulled pork, I wouldn't have it whatsoever. <laughs> this is this is the nicest. Yeah. So gumbo first. Gumbo first. Then I say the jambalaya. Yeah. Then the mac and cheese one. Which is kind of why I expected for a tenner in theme park food. I think you, you can't. Go, I think you can't go wrong, really. It is. It's good for what you get especially for a tenner. Yeah. You can share it between two if you're on a budget as well. That said, it's nothing to rave about either. One for taste. <laughs> a, two for value. Yeah. And two for portion. And that means it gets a, a, a five out of ten. <laughs> Mardi Gras, street entertainment, a party, New Orleans style. What do you think of it, Sean? Uh, it was really good, actually. Dance was very committed, very organised. Yeah. Um, felt like a. I mean, obviously it's not Mardi Gras because no one's drunk and people are throwing beads everywhere. But it felt like a good homage to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, seriously. And you know, the Mardi Gras event compare in comparison to the Festival of Thrills, it's, it's literally worlds <laughs> apart. You had nothing comparable to that. No, no, no. Whatsoever. And I think that there's probably going to be more stuff throughout the park as well. Which might be so, yeah, it is, something, it is something like a little bit extra to add to the park, but just makes your day a bit more fun. Oh yeah, I absolutely love it. As you walk past, you can't help but feel the vibe, get it within the atmosphere and smile and that is exactly what you come to a theme park for to smile and have fun and now here we are at the forbidden valley to check out nemesis and its viewing platform we've not actually been on there yet so let's head up and see uh, what the hype's about so here we are atop of the observation platform to look at Nemesis from afar. Can't really see much. Obviously the area's closed off. And there's the ride in the distance. This would be a great view of the monorail going past though, whenever it does. But the monster is uh, a bit far away. Visitors to the Nemesis oh, observation mate. platform. <laughs> 
be honest, I know I know you've got all you nemesis buffs out there, and I'm probably going to say something that might offend quite a lot of you. But I've never really been that big on nemesis, to be honest. It's, <gasps> it's all right. It's all right. What I do love is the hype that they're generating around the ride, the story that they're trying to tell, and the marketing. It is the most over-exaggerated refurbishment of a ride that I've ever witnessed in my whole life anywhere in the world. And that observation deck is terrible. <laughs> you can see it from afar. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's the point, but... Uh, well, they were going to charge us. people for it, weren't they? Yeah, of course there was. Five pound the ticket to see to see the construction. Yeah. That's Merlin for you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if I'd paid a fiver for that, I would have left the park. Oh, I don't get it. Don't get it. I would have been fuming. Come on, then! Spinball wizard! We play Cindy, wasn't friends. So we just come off Spinball Wizard and it's probably the best best ride we've ever had on Spinball Wizard. Honestly, I felt sick. The very spinny Spinball <laughs> Wizard. Yeah. Very spinny. today. I didn't know it was capable of spinning that way. From the moment you it's just, the first born. one, we just were like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Felt like I was in a washing machine. Stop. Yeah, it's crazy because the last time we went on it, it felt like it, the ride couldn't gain any momentum to spin us and then kept changing direction. Well, that time it was just spinning the whole way around. It was full this time though, weren't it? So yeah, it was, yeah. So I'm here on my own. Now some of you might be wondering why I'm here on my own. Well I went to the toilet and I came out and I looked for Axel and I found him. Well you'll see him in a second. Here he is. <laughs> That's where Axel went when I went to the toilet. Time for Marauder's Mayhem. Okay. He went to the toilet, so I went on the ride. There's no queue. It's great. Do you want to go on? <laughs> Do you? No, I'm all right. I've seen how fast it went. I'm good. Did it go fast? Yeah. I'm not dizzy. And... It was good. It's fun. Was it dizzy? Yeah. Very good ride. Probably one of the best themed spinning teacups ride I've ever been on. The gunpowder barrel, barrel mayhem, whatever it is. Amazing. <laughs> All right, so as it's a lovely day and we've been on many roller coasters, we thought it would be a good idea to get out of the sun and experience the Shark Bait Reef yeah. by SeaWorld. Why not? So follow us and we'll head inside.
sticking onto it. This is too close, this. When you're in there, because you're in a theme park, you don't want to be in there for half an hour. So, it, you know, you spend a good 20 minutes in there. I mean, you can spend longer in there if you really want to. Yeah. Um, but it, it's got a good selection of fish. It's got a good selection of size tanks as well. It's even got the yeah. the, uh, the tunnel that you walk through. It's got big tanks, small yeah, yeah. tanks. It's got the where you can touch um, uh, starfish as well. Yeah. So there's a variety of things to do and you can probably spend more than 20 minutes in there. But I'd say on average, you're gonna spend about 20 minutes in there. It's good on a day like today to get you out of the sun. Yeah, it gets you out of the sun. It's just something else to do as well. We've been to Alton Towers quite a lot recently and after you've done all of the roller coasters about 10 times in a, in a month, you know, you're a bit like, all right, let's see what else there is to do. And you know, it is a theme park and this is a family park as well. And it was nice to get out of the sun for a little bit, nice bit of shade, and it was really well themed. Right, we're gonna head off to, uh, what's it called? Dark Woods, Dark Forest, yep. and try and catch a few rides on there. See you there. Here we go, it's time for 13. A 15 minute wait, I wish that said 13 minute wait. Anyway, not bad, let's go. Down to the woods. Well, what a great day it's been here at Alton Towers today. We've got most of the rides that we want to be on. Sean's yeah. got the streamers here from yeah. the Mardi Gras. We've witnessed the Mardi Gras and all of the festivities going on. We've been in the Shark Bay Reef yeah. as well. Um, we've been on a lot of flat rides and the weather has been great. It really adds to that Mardi Gras vibe and feeling as well. What do you think Mardi Gras brings to Alton Towers, Sean? Just a, it's a bit of fun at the end of the day and something when you're walking around there's a lot of just unthemed space it yeah. adds that theme in yeah. i think i think alton towers this is what they need to do they need to have more like every month it needs to be a different sort of thing yes yes you know I, mean? I know they've got the october fest coming up they have Good. the scare fest they've got the fireworks yeah. um and they have alton towers at christmas as well so it looks like they are doing more of this kind of thing although that festival of thrills they're not going to mention that one. Let's hope they do Terrible. more of this at that next year. It's just been a really nice day, really chilled. I mean, I thought it'd be really busy because of the weather and then yeah, a weekend, yeah, it yeah. wasn't too busy. It was good. We caught it on a good day. 
and uh, yeah, it's just been a lot of fun. Well, we'll like to mention this, we did a ride on 13, we didn't do a review on that, but it was really good, we had a back row ride. Yeah. Uh, we went on Wickerman as well, just to finish off the day, and front it was close row. to the front, it was second from front row, and it was absolutely brutal, Mate. in a good way. I've never been on it, I've, even in the rain. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was warm. Oh, it was roasting, honestly. The wicker Man was on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> Seriously. But with that said, I've been Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another video.